And for the third time in their history, the Calgary Roughnecks are in the Champions Cup. The Saddle Dome guaranteed to be rocking when the Riggers host the Rochester Nighthawks in game one of the two game series on Saturday. It will take a Herculean effort to win this battle. So at least the Roughnecks have Superman on their side. Curtis Dixon flown by the BT studio this morning to give us a preview. Does it ever get old being called Superman? I have to think you must, you just, you gotta like it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> it's a pretty cool nickname to have, obviously. And, uh, you know, like you said, I don't think it'll ever get old. Well, you've earned it once again. Uh, you know what? Let's just, let's start with this. Let's start with this All incredible right. goal uh, against the Edmonton Rush. Uh, and you can sort of take us through it. I think we have the video there. You yeah, go. I think uh, the shot clock was kind of <laughs> winding down there and saw an opening and what? Like, kind of went for it and, uh, and then <laughs> you know, it went in. And the ball was in the net and that's kind of the just, end of it. So. Basically from standing. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, I don't know, it's one of those things. I guess the adrenaline is rushing. If you ask me to do that right now, there's probably no chance I'd be able to. So <laughs> it's one of those things. You're out, you're on the floor and you. Kind of become a different person. Well, and it's do or die in a situation like that in the playoffs, uh, particularly against the Rush. What kind of, uh, I guess, momentum and confidence does it give you? Those guys had such a, a stellar season. Uh, you guys were really the only ones who managed to figure them out. Yeah, you know what? That's huge uh, for us. I think going on the stretch during the regular season there, we were, we were playing well, and we were, I think, 6-1 and one heading into the playoffs. And uh, coming off a big win against that Edmonton team in overtime two games before the the playoffs started, so I think that was big for us getting that win, and uh, just all the confidence we had right into the playoffs obviously carried over. Okay, so now it's the real deal. You're going to play Rochester one weekend here, uh, one uh, weekend there. Yep. Uh, are you happy that you're starting with the home crowd, or do you kind of wish it was reversed so you could win when you guys win, you can win at home? Yeah, you know what, it goes both ways. Obviously, you'd like to be able to win in front of your home fans, but at the same time, I think it's it's important to you know get a, get that first win at home. I think we saw that last series against Edmonton. We were able to squeak out that win in, at home and uh, you know get a, that really one nothing series lead. So I think that was big for us. Now, for those of us who might not have seen a lot of Rochester, um, talk about that team. What are you guys looking for in them? And, and where will you need to really step up? Yeah, you know what? They're the two-time defending champions, yeah. and that's for a reason. You know, they always find a way to win when it comes uh, down to playoff time. So uh, they're a very good defensive team, and they got a, you know one of the best, if not the best, goaltenders in the league. So I think that's going to be a good matchup against our offense, who we've proved uh, we're one of, if not the best, in, in the league ourselves. So it'll be a, an interesting matchup, and it should be definitely exciting for the fans. Uh, and fans definitely going to give you guys a boost when you play at the Dome on Saturday. Talk about the, the momentum, you guys. I mean, you hate to diminish it by saying you're the only game in town, but really, you guys are it. You guys are in the playoffs. Everybody, all eyes are on you. Uh, how good does that feel? It's awesome. You know what? It's cool to, you know, kind of, you go around town and people start recognizing you and telling you good luck and all that type of stuff. So it's, it's exciting. It's exciting to see the city get behind us so well. And, uh, you know, we had a great crowd last week. Or a couple of weeks ago, we were in Calgary. There, uh, it was 13,000 plus. So hopefully, we can pack the dome even even tighter this weekend, and you know, get a lot of crowd out there. And you were meeting some new fans. I mean, this is a great way. Obviously, your success is a great way to introduce people to the sport of lacrosse if they've never been a exactly. part of it before. Exactly. Exactly. And you know, you always hear stories of people going out for the first game for the first time, and they're hooked. So it, just, it only takes one time, and you know, hopefully, we can make some new fans this weekend as well. Okay. So how are you feeling? How are you feeling? How is the team feeling? I think we're feeling, we're good, we're good. Obviously, it's uh, a little nerve-wracking. This is going to be my first championship series, and it's the first year it'll be in the, this little mini uh, two, three-game series. So it's exciting. We're excited to go. And, you know, obviously, like I said, we're playing against the two-time defending champs, so we have a, you know, a real chance to dethrone the, the champs. Well, we are behind you all the way. A lot of the BT crew is going to be there uh, playing bumper ball at halftime, but we'll be cheering. <laughs> and we want to send you to the game. We have a family four-pack of tickets to give away, plus a prize pack. Just head to our website, breakfasttelevision.ca. Click on Daily Prizing. The 17th entry will win. No purchase necessary. Full rules on our website. And really looking forward to seeing Superman fly. Uh, in person Saturday night. It's game seven, game one of the NLL Champions Cup final. Congratulations Thanks. to you. Really, really happy for the rest. Thank you very much.